Hey, um, today we're going to do some X queries and we're going to use X query to query uh, XML document and get and retrieve that data that the query is asking for. Um, the first thing you want to do, uh, I'm doing this on Windows, on a Windows system. So the first thing you want to do is um, make sure that you have the latest Java so just make sure you go to the site and get uh, go to www.java.com and download the latest Java to make sure that you have the latest um, Java edition okay now after you do that you would want to go and get basex because this whole um, video is based on using XQuery to retrieve your XML um, document data via BaseX. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, www.basex.org. And when you go to basex.org, you're gonna dump you're gonna hit the download and for Windows you want to hit the Windows installer downloads um, not working on a Mac so I'm supposed if you're on a Mac you want to go through this uh, the documentation to see which one of the files that is, is a specific one for you to download but for Windows we're gonna download this file okay now after you download this file you're gonna get a desktop icon the desktop icon saying basex the desktop icon looks like this and we're gonna open the basex so here we open the basex and from here, once you open BaseX at first, this is the interface you're going to see. Now, once you open here, you just browse to wherever you have your XQY file. That's the file that you create to query the data, uh, the XML document. So, for instance, I was doing a database on books. Now, let me back up a little bit here because I kind of jumped the gun before we get we open this uh, X base you want to go here because this is where the, this is where the file is stored so you're gonna hit go to your C drive and you're gonna go under programs files x86 folder look for the base X folder open it and in here you can see I have my books.dtd file, the document file. You need to drop yours in here. So whether it's catalog or uh, whatever is your choice, the, the the choice that you use for your for your database file, this is it right here. So make sure you have this file in this directory. Or this will work. So once you once you have that and that is done, then you can go open it from the desktop. And this is the interface you'll see. Now, these are some of the queries that I already wrote. And I'm pulling these queries from a book. So, for instance, I have one here, the first one here, for art. Okay. Um, one second, let me fix something here real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I had some files changed around, so um, I had the, the query results pulling instead of the query. Okay, so here we go. This is the query, and this is a query from my art, uh, my art query that I'm querying the document. So as you can see, the query is in here. I have the, the variable for it books in documents art.xml which is my xml document 
and I have receipt recent books slash book as a matter of fact let me share that XML document with you so you can actually I'll just use notepad so we can see so this is the XML document that I that I'm pulling that data from and as you can see I have its recent books and in recent books I have a title and for each book there's a title description year ISBN there's author element as well and all these elements here are listed in the DTD file that I pulled over here if you can recall me pulling the, the files over here this is where you want to store that file before you open the X space. You go to the programs file, x86 folder, open that. You go to the base X folder, open that. And in here, you want to drop the DTD file. This file here. And the DTD file is this file here. And it looks like this. So this is where your elements the elements will be called oh no I don't want that so we'll just get to notepad let me see if I can open it with notepad yep okay so this is the DTD file as you can see, there is an element for recent books, there's element for title, there's an element for the book with a title, description, author, and stuff like that. This file here, you want to make sure that this file is in here, in this basex folder. So you go to your C drive, programs, files, xx, x86 folder, basex, and copy that file and put it in here. Then you go and open your basex to start running your queries. Now, as you can see, I already wrote my query. I have comments in here how the query works. This query searches the art XML document for authors whose first name is Lewis, and if found, then returns that book title and the first name of the author. So I run the query, and here it is. The result is at the bottom. You got the title of the book, the first name, of the book and he has two books first name Lewis okay I'll do a next one that was the art let's pull uh, fiction and just remember you this is the query file the XQY this is the X query file so we're gonna open that and in that file do the same the query states that this query searches this is a fiction XML document for books with within a with a year greater than 2001 and with the last name Rowling and if true then return the title if you run that query you can see there's two books in there by Rowling and it's both Harry Potter books and there's the title because I said return title so this is how you run your X query from your desktop via XBase so you can see the exact result before you you know continue hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching